That is when my weekend went from great to possibly the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. So the Cannonball Reunion was an event that actually happened on my birthday weekend, September 15th to 18th, I believe, of last year. It was put on by Ben Charlie Safari Wilson and Chris Clemens, who did the SL Coast to Coast to Coast during COVID. And it was a great time. But when I first heard about it, it was just a group of us getting together, going to New York, which a group of cannonballers going to New York is never a good idea things are gonna happen, and things did happen. So after getting there Friday night, I pretty much knew this was gonna be one of the better weekends that I was going to have. At the time, I had a little bit of a headache, but I had to stay up till midnight. I had told myself I was gonna stay up till midnight because that Saturday was my birthday, and I'm going to have a shot looking over the New York skyline at midnight. Now, Jay Roberts was my roommate for that weekend. You might know him from the Prius record, which at the time he was still planning and getting ready to go. And he was sound asleep. Told him what I was gonna do. He's like, fine, that's cool. Don't wake me up. You can do whatever you want. I wanna sleep. Good for you, happy birthday. I'll tell it to you tomorrow. So midnight, I take my shot, take another one, look over the skyline, question how this is happening, how I got here and went to bed. Saturday was the panels and the car show that we had. And anyone who had ever done even anything related to Cannonball was there. You had Arnie with the S6, the E63, and his P71 Black Turd, which won the last 2904 in 2017. You had the SL, you had Sean and his Passat. The Saab guys were there, the Mercedes guys were there. All of the dream cars of Cannonball were just together in one place. Everything that I could ever have imagined wanting to see was just there. Ed's CL, both of Ed's Mercedes actually were there. Seeing that car on the bucket list, being able to check that off was cool. And throughout the day, fans of Cannonball, the Cannonballers, even original Cannonballers were there from the 70s events. The US Express were there and Lady Pam was there with Brock Yates Jr. And they were talking about the original early runs. Throughout the day, there were three panels. You had the organizers panel, you had the original cannonballers panel, and then you had the modern cannonballers panel. And being able to hook up with all of my friends, see them, talk with them again, and just catch up was a great experience because we don't see each other that often. We live across the country and outside of like Facebook and group chats and things like that, we don't really meet face to face that often. So being able to see everyone together was fantastic. First panel goes through, it was the, I believe it was the event organizers panel for the first one. And seeing everyone just get together, ask questions, fans were there, get pictures. Alex Roy was there, unfortunately without the M5. So that's the only car left that I want to see. Everything else was just amazing. Seeing smiles, laughter, stories being shared and just everyone getting together, having fun was awesome. In between lunch and the third panel, it was myself, Steve Brown, and Ed out by his truck, and we were just talking, having fun. I took some pictures of Steve's truck. We were there, and that is when my weekend went from great to possibly the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. We were there, we were talking, and all of a sudden, I feel like a pinch or like a sting of sorts where you don't want it to happen. And I, I shift a little, don't think much of it, whatever, it's fine, but it doesn't go away. I'm like, okay, this, this sucks a little bit, it's starting to hurt. I shift a little bit more, I'm like, okay, things aren't going great, what is this? And I go to like adjust, and I feel something crawling, like in my pants. And at that moment, my brain realized, congratulations, you just got stunned by a bee, in the place. And I lean on the truck a little bit, squeeze to try and kill the bee that I later found there. And I'm like, hey, Ed, Steve. I'm like, yeah. 
where's the bathroom by any chance? And I was like, oh, in that building, Dana left. And they were like, yeah, it's there. Now you go down there through that, and in my mind, I'm thinking, can you please hurry up? I'm, I'm not having fun right now. I need this instructions a little bit faster. Down there, hang a left, it's gonna be those two. I'm like, great, thanks, bye, and I'm gone. I'm not trying to draw attention to myself, but by this point, I'm in pain. It hurts. I'm trying to wear this fake smile, but like everything's Hakuna Matata, I'm good. Everything's not good. I forgot, and like, I'm going down like, hey, Chris Clemens, bathrooms are down there to the right. At this point, I'm fighting back tears, smiling, a little bit of a limp going on. And he's like, yeah, down there to the left. It's like, is everything okay? I'm like, oh, fantastic, thanks. Go in, shut the door, lock it. Thank God there was one open. Drop, wasp flies out into the ceiling. And three things were happening in my head. One, oh my God, this hurts. Two, oh my God, this hurts. And three, this wasp is not leaving the bathroom alive. After what you have done to me, you are not getting out of this. Crush the wasp, pull back up, sit down, have a little bit of a cry, because at this point it is full on welt. Two welts, because he hit me twice. Two welts down there, immense pain. Worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And I'm sitting there having a, Good bit of tears, hugging myself, wanting to curl up on the ball, and just in pain. Horrible pain. Five minutes goes by, I wash my face off. I'm like, okay, face is red. Not good, and I go out. At this point, it, there is a limp. I am limping out of the bathroom. It did not look good from the outside, and it looked even worse on the inside. Limp back out, Chris like, everything okay? I'm like, uh-huh, great, thanks. I'm like, don't, please don't look too close. I'm having a horrible time. Limp back out, lean on the truck, smile a little bit. Steve goes, are you okay? I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. You don't look fine. I'm not, not at all. I'm like, what happened? Like, remember when I asked where the bathroom was? Yeah, it was a B. I'm like, oh, did you get stung? Uh-huh, twice. And I just pointed down and the faces went from like chuckling a little bit and you just watch the smiles fade to genuine concern, admittedly. They, they, they were worried, I'm looking at them, smiling, a little tear goes down. And I can't focus, I can't think, I can barely stand, let alone walk. I, I can't do this. And I'm like, hey Jay, I'm like, yeah. I need to go back to the room. I'm like, what happened? Like, I just have a really bad migraine. I got stunned by a bee. Oh no, you're okay? I'm like, no. And I drive home, go up to my room, the second I hit my bed, I'm out. I'm fast asleep, I'm passed out. The migraine, the bee sting, I was in so, I, it was hurt so bad. I just hit the bed and I was out. So if you actually look at the group photo that came of the Cannonball reunion, I'm about 15 miles to the left, 11 stories up, passed out in my bed. I am not in that group photo. During the third panel though, Christopher Michaels goes into the uh, Cannonball group chat Hey guys, by the way, it's Mason's birthday today. So after this panel, do you want to sing happy birthday? And I'm like, no, no, we don't. I'm fine, thank you. Look at that, I gotta go back to Maryland. Wow, unfortunate, I gotta go. And I actually did have to leave that panel. I was asleep. And I think they were looking for me. I don't know, I wasn't there. But at the bar, we have drinks. It's a bar, It's it was a Great party. Mark Spence had his gold jacket on. That was an attention grabber. And I get this look from John Ficarra and Christopher Michaels. And I start shaking my head. Chris nods. I shake my head. Chris nods. John Ficarra stands on a table. Attention everybody in the big John Ficarra voice that if you've heard it, you know. Guess what? Today is. I'm like, oh, please don't. No, no. Get off the table. It's his birthday. I'm like, no, stop it. They start singing. The bar, now looking at us, they start singing. I'm just standing there awkwardly. It was, at the time, a little embarrassing. I won't, I won't lie. I kind of tried to dodge it and make it not happen, but looking back on it, that's one of the memories that stood out. And I do have to say thank you to John and Chris for doing that. And looking back on it, it was one of the best ways to ever spend a birthday, having the highest of highs, the lowest of lows, 
and just being with everyone, I, I couldn't have imagined a better weekend. You asked for it and Auto Tempest now has an app. So head over to your app store now, download it to your phone and leave them a great review. So now whether you go to autotempest.com by clicking the link in the description below or just open up your phone app, you'll be getting access to all the results from all the major listing sites in one place. That is why we love Auto Tempest so much. We appreciate their support of VinWiki over the years, of Car Trek, but most of all because it is exactly where I go every day to find my next car. Oh,